things clear. One is I'm saying that in the United States of America, the Superior Court of California awarded farmers 250 million US dollars a piece against Monsanto, which was manufacturing Roundup. And it was after that that it was completely banned. Monsanto is a huge company. They had armies of scientists, but they weren't able to win the case. And that case was applied to the entire Europe and the whole of North America and the whole of the United States. How foolish as we as Kenyans to think that we can get better scientists than those ones who have done it in those countries. And furthermore, they said they, it, it had the highest number of scientists evaluating it in the history of a damages case in the United States. And I sent it to your office. You have that court case. Today, I'm also mobilizing. I'm going to do a class action in this country and it will be against the Ministry of Agriculture and against the Pest Products Control Board because it is their responsibility to protect us. If it is safe, why is it not being sold in Europe and America? And if it is safe, why is it that when our farmers use those products and send them abroad, when they are tested, they are sent, the entire container is returned back. I have visited many of the companies, six companies in, in Nakuru and two in Kenya, I mean in Nairobi, they are the ones who produce the pyrethrum-based uh, pyrethrum uh, pesticides. And when I ask them, who buys from you? Because I know the ordinary farmer doesn't. They say, any farmer who is exporting normally buys from them. Because they, and you, you go to farmers, they'll tell you, this is for export, so I use pyrethrum-based. This is for the local market, nobody checks. And this, again, the pesticide atlas was done by over 22 professors from Kenya. That has been done. It has been peer reviewed abroad. Even if you build your lab until when, you will not have that. And when you tell us that you're doing labeling, tell me how many farmers can read what sulfate something point two means. They can't understand those labels. So what you do, just remove it from the market. And we have over 6,000 types of pesticides that are sold here. If we remove 267 that I have isolated as being harmful, we'll still be able to have pesticides in the country. So why you, and you removed, out of the 267, they have removed seven. But they are going too slowly. We'll have too many deaths by the time you get to that. So this information is out there. You don't need to do your own evaluation. The world has done it. The entire Europe has done it. The entire America has done it. There is no way you're going to build a lab and be able to do it here in Kenya. That's a lie. Minister, to make progress, Dr. Mutunga, you've made your pit, and you are the chairman of the committee. So I don't want you to appear also to be holding brief for the minister who is present. Minister will step down this question and I'll direct you to be here on Wednesday next week afternoon before we break to deal specifically with this question. Owen Bayer, communicate with the, your boss to ensure that the minister comes to answer this question. As patriotic Kenyans, and as a country whose economy is rooted on agriculture, employing 70% plus of our workforce, it should concern you members that we do the right things. If our products go to Europe, we now have duty-free, quota-free access. But then they hit non-tariff barriers in terms of scientific checks and comeback, then we lose as a country. And it harms our economy. Those like the member for Gishugu, who, whose base of economy is hot culture, they'll suffer, and everybody else. So minister, you have a duty to ensure that Kenya benefits from scientific development, both internally and externally, what is developed in America or Europe is universal. We don't want to hear members crying about prevalence of cancer cases. And one can ask, 
Why do we have serious prevalence of cancer cases in areas where these chemicals are in use, lesser than in pastoralist areas, and so on and so forth. So go and prepare. Come back on uh, Wednesday on this particular question. So we'll go to the other questions so that you can be able to satisfy. Not only, you are not addressing parliament, you are addressing the country. Yes. Uh, we are well guided, Mr. Speaker, sir. We go to now the first question by private notice by Geoffrey Ruku. Question 015. 